Yo, what's going on guys? So today I wanted to present to you my Immortal King set build. Now one thing I wanted to mention before I start showing you guys this build is that the Immortal King set is a very cheap build to obtain, but very effective. I'm not saying that you're gonna go and do bail runs and just run right through it like a hammered in, but you know, at the start of a new ladder reset or anything like that, this is a very good build and I really think that it has great benefit and a lot of people in Diablo 2 don't exactly realize that. I've never seen it happen before, but I've heard from many different people around the community and on forums that this build, the Immortal King set, can actually do the Diablo clone. Now I'm gonna show you guys two parts of this build. I'm gonna show you like the cheap, cheap items to get, and then I'm gonna show you a more expensive side to this build. Make sure you guys check the description for the full guide for this build. And um, if there's anything you want to know about the build, it'll be in that link on D2JSP. I'm just going to start off by showing you guys my skills and what to put your skill points into. So you're going to want to put 20 into Battle Orders, 20 into Shout, and then 20 into Mace Mastery. And then you want to put 20 into Whirlwind and those are going to be the main points that you put 20 hard points into. So, and in, in other points that you'll be putting in, into this build are 1 into Berserk, 1 Concentrate, um, 1 Increase Speed, and 1 Iron Skin and Natural Resistance. What you'll be doing with this build is you'll be um, using Whirlwind. It's a Whirlwind um, Immortal King set barb and you'll also be using concentrate and mainly berserk at times you'll want to use berserk if there's a physical immune or if you just wanna if there's a single monster in the group that you just want to get rid of like you know like a boss or something like that you'll go ahead and just use berserk so when for your stat points you want to make sure that you put enough points into strength to use all of your items and then just put the rest of your points into vitality like most builds are and then for the big part that you guys are wondering about is what items do i use for this build now this is like the cheaper version of the build that i'm going to show you right now so you obviously want the full immortal king set and you want to make sure that you put two shale runes into your immortal king weapon this is so you hit the break point for attack speed while using whirlwind so it's really important that you put two shale runes into your um into your weapon and as far as your armor and your helmet i would just put perfect topazes in there just to get some extra magic find and that'll do you pretty good and everything else you want to use high lords and i use two raven frost rings and i also use war cry skill charms in my inventory now you can either go with that or go with max damage or attack rating charms but I choose to have Warcry charms just to give out battle orders to the party and you know have some more more life and defense and there's also other options that you could use you could also go with uh, angelic amulet and ring and this will give you a ton of attack rating as you can see right here I get over a thousand attack rating attack rating from a very some from from some very cheap items so and i also use a mantled heal ring for the the mana steel because there are points where there's a a monster and it has it has um mana leech and then i run out of mana and then you're not able to to whirlwind or do anything and and then you just die so um, I try to keep one of those rings on hand just when, for when I get in that situation. And I also keep nature's peace with me. Um, this, this ring is mainly used, I think, for killing Nilothak in the Halls of Pain for, to get destruction keys. And um, you know it'll make it a lot easier trying to kill him using that ring. And then you obviously want to have the Ani and the Torch. And then on Switch, if you're going for a cheaper route, you can usually talk the Mala here and usually check these um, these throwing spears. And sometimes they'll have um, three of the War Cry skills on them, so you can dual wield them. Right now, I'm using two Heart of the Oaks, which is 
you know better for the cast rate and things like that but um if you're trying to go the cheaper route you can just keep a keep a lookout and um try and see if mala has um war cry sticks for you because you can just buy them straight from her and as far as the mercenary goes you want to make sure you use reaper's toll now what this is going to do it's going to decrease the the monsters attack speed and physical resistance and the damage that they do so this weapon really has a great benefit and it's a really easy item to obtain and you also want to go with Andy's Visage um, you know this is one of the most popular mercenary helmets around and um, I would recommend putting one socket into it and putting a Rao rune into it so you don't get the negative fire resistance I think that's really important there for your mercenary because he's just gonna die from fire damage all the time and um, there are a few other cheap cheap options for armor right now I'm using an upgraded shaft stop um, you know if you can't afford to get a fortitude then there are many other options out there as far as armor that you can use besides fortitude I wanted to show you guys the more expensive side of this build now this is one of my personal characters I worked hard on so you know I just have the immortal king set obviously in my weapon I have 240 15 jewels which give an increased attack speed and 40% um, enhanced damage I put a burr rune into my armor for reduced damage and I also added a little bit more enhanced damage on my helmet there so in the different items that I use for the more expensive part are metal grid and I, I stick to the Raven Frost and on switch I have Heart of Oak so that gives me you know faster cast rate if I'm gonna use Enigma so usually what I'll do is since this is more of an expensive build you know I'll just have all my war cry charms and then just keep it a, a um, Enigma right in my inventory and just switch it out every now and then since I have two Hodos Heart of the Oaks I can just teleport around really really quickly and have fast cast rate like you know as if I'm like a sorceress or something so um, that's really what I like to do with this build on the more expensive side is keep an, keep a enigma on me and just keep it in my inventory you know just so I can teleport around and stuff so and then as far as my mercenary goes um, I switched out my reapers toll for pride just to do more damage and it's kind of just my my preference and I use fortitude and Andy's visage now there are other other mercenary weapons that that people use for this build and one of them is infinity um, I haven't really tested this out but some people have said infinity does really good with with the um, elemental damage from a mortal king set but I haven't really tried that out so I'm not really sure and I also keep an insight on me from time to time if I'm teleporting around you know I'll run out of mana every now and then but um, let's just get into some gameplay right now and I'm going to show you guys how effective this build is in hell mode with 8 people and um, we'll see how well it does. So here we are in the game with a decent amount of people in the party so the monsters are going to be pretty strong. So let's just get into some killing and, and see how effective this build is. So I'm sitting on about... 8k damage for Berserk damage and 6k damage for Whirlwind. Now it does take a little bit longer for the for the IK set to um, put out some good damage. You know, like I said, you're not gonna be rolling through monsters like a hammered in, but you know, as you're doing your whirlwind, you know, you're not really getting hit much, so it's pretty nice. You know, see, and I just used Berserk on, on the super unique monster, and he died pretty quickly, so. You know, and look at that right there. You know, that's that's pretty fast killing right there, as far as a, a decently cheap set. And eight people are in the room now, so that's that's a lot of damage right there. And that, that kind of just shows how, um, you know, effective this build is, even though people want to give the Immortal King set a lot of shit all the time, so... So 
so they got messed up pretty quick. And another another good uh, um, thing that the Immortal King set has, um, not on the weapon, but on the armor, it has a 5% chance to cast a uh, level 5 enchant, so it'll give out more damage on your weapon. So that's a really cool cool um you know little stat to to your armor right there and you know as you guys can see right there you know i cleared that pretty quick as a barbarian in a cheap set so but um like i was telling you guys i mean this is a very good set to start off with if you're just coming back to the game i mean if one of you guys came back to the game i could easily just get any of you guys the full immortal king set you know and get you guys started on the game you know i know a lot of us are are in our you know mid 20s late 20s now you know most of the diablo 2 fans and um you know i'm all, i'm always here to help you guys out you know if, if you guys want to send me a whisper on um whisper me at extimus on the game or, or anything just give me a whisper you know if you say hey you know extimus i want the immortal king set can you get it for me like i will make sure i get that for you guys and do as much as i can to help you guys within the community and help you guys build your characters and and make it so we can all have fun on the game together like like we have been on the community so and um i hope you guys enjoyed this build i really enjoy playing it a lot it's one of my favorite builds right now um devils from the community devils is one of our like head community members and he really got me into this i saw him on his uh Immortal King set Barbarian like right when the ladder reset and I saw him kicking ass and I'm just like dude I haven't tried Immortal King set in like 10 years. I'm like now I gotta try it now that I see him like doing work on it So, you know, that's mainly why why I made this build and um, you know I set this build up and I really enjoy playing it. It's a lot of fun and like I said, it's not like a hammered in or anything like that where you're just gonna plow through bail runs or anything like that like that but you know you, you you do you know a decent amount of damage and and you get through the game pretty well and, and it's a lot of fun and it's a different build to play you know rather than just playing a sorceress or you know hammered in all the time you know it's a very fun build to play so um i hope you guys enjoyed this video and um i'll be putting out videos every week for you guys as soon as i can and you know I, I try to put out as much content as I can guys you know um, you know it, it just gets busy sometimes and, and I try to put out you know as, as much as I can for you guys and um, I enjoy doing it and I enjoy enjoy having all you guys here on the channel and um, I'll see you guys on the ladder I'll see you guys on battle.net make sure you guys check all that out so thanks guys